Delhi is all set to host the G20 summit level talks when the world leaders will be arriving and discussing about the priorities, challenges, common concerns around the world, especially in the area of development uh, and finances. Uh, President Biden of the USA will be arriving most likely on 8th of September and uh, the, during those three days when the leadership from UK uh, Rishi Sunak will be coming. Uh, President Macron is also going to come uh, on Friday, most likely. Uh, and the leaders are also going to have a bilateral with Prime Minister Modi uh, during the course of three days that uh, the event will be taking place. Uh, two presidents, uh, Russian President uh, Vladimir Putin and uh, Chinese President Xi Jinping is not going to attend the summit level talks. The Russian President has sent Sergei Lavrov, the, finance, uh, the foreign minister, uh, to represent him. While uh, today, the Chinese side have confirmed that uh, Premier Li Qiang will be representing the Chinese delegation at the summit level talks. UK, US President uh, Joe Biden had two days ago expressed hope that they will be President Xi Jinping who will be in G20 summit level talks and probably he was looking for an opportunity to, to engage uh, with the Chinese side but now he has expressed some disappointment after he has learned that President Xi Jinping may not be coming to Delhi and he said that he's disappointed because in the last few months we have seen uh, a regular or frequent engagement uh, being pushed from the US side uh, to, to have an engagement to, with China so that the multiple issues on, in, uh, in trade, commerce, uh, finances and defense uh, be uh, you know dealt with in a more pacified way and both sides try to engage and understand each other and we have seen uh, several secretaries, uh, Secretary Blinken, Janet Yellen, uh, recently Secretary of Commerce also went to China. So there has been multiple engagements and probably uh, US was looking forward to have a small window of opportunity when President Biden could have had a small uh, you know bilateral with uh, Xi Jinping or the Chinese president. It was not clear whether uh, it was scheduled or not. Uh, but we know that with the absence of Vladimir Putin and Chinese president uh, Xi Jinping, uh, it looks like the bloc, the G20, is increasingly divided on the many issues around the world. Uh, we have heard Russian Foreign Ministry spokesperson Maria Zakharova clearly saying that G20 is being dominated by G7 uh, plus grouping and their agenda and they do not want G20 to, to become hostage of these uh, issues and they have said that uh, they will push uh, for uh, you know global uh, and more consensus agenda and they will support India's G20 presidency as well. In fact, the Russian side has also said that they will rely on the BRICS member countries in case G7 try to push for their agenda. Uh, we have also seen Canadian President Justin Trudeau uh, you know, recently expressing disappointment that uh, Ukrainian President Zelensky is not being invited to G20 summit level talks. India had made it very really clear, uh, you know, long time back that G20 will remain an agenda that will be focused on developmental issues, uh, global issues of finances, climate change, or uh, you know, SDG goals, or women empowerment, or social justice. Things that has been the core of G20 grouping, and it will not be. Uh, uh, you know, given priorities to certain conflicts or the conflict that is happening in one part of the world. And uh, so the security issues is something that G20 has ideally not been discussing and uh, India did not allow this to become a stage for Ukrainian issues to be discussed. While the after effects of the russia ukraine conflict like food security, energy security, uh, that will of course remain be a part of major agenda that Indian presidency of G20 is going to discuss around. Uh, Prime Minister Modi will also be likely uh, having a, a dinner hosted for President Biden. We know that recently Prime Minister was in Washington where the Biden family had hosted a very special dinner uh, as a state guest uh, for Prime Minister Modi. And uh, recently Prime Minister Modi was also in France to attend the Bastille Day as the chief guest of uh, the Bastille Day celebration. And uh, when uh, President uh, Macron will be in Delhi, there could be a possibility that Prime Minister Modi will have something special or some special uh, arrangement for him uh, over a lunch or something. Uh, beside, there will be several bilateral meetings with uh, world leaders. Prime Minister is going to Jakarta on 6th and 7th where he will be having a meeting with uh, Indonesian President Joko Widodo and when the President will be arriving back uh, in Delhi uh, to attend G20 summit level talks, there is scheduled to have a meeting between uh, Prime Minister Modi and uh, the Indonesian President uh, because Indonesia remains the, uh, the part of Troika that is Indonesia, India, and Brazil who will be the host who will be hosting the G20 summit level talks next year. Lula da Silva will be coming for uh, to represent Brazilian side, the President uh, of Brazil. Uh, he just had a uh, meeting on the sidelines of BRICS summit level talks in Johannesburg, also with Prime Minister Modi, and we'll have to see how. Uh, those meetings will take shape uh, when the frequency of the leaders uh, talk will increase and how India, Brazil, Indonesia and other part of the South, uh, global south will 
uh, become a more stronger voice in the in the in the context that they want to have some solid reforms at multilateral platforms around the world, especially in United Nations. So while G20 will remain focused on uh, many agendas of development, issues of uh, multilateral reforms, climate change, uh, global security, food security is something that India is going to push for. Social justice, uh, women empowerment is something also that the Prime Minister Modi had talked in the past. We talked about. Uh, at the G20 summit level talks, uh, with all the uh, leaders uh, congregating in Delhi, the issues will be discussed and one can only hope that there will be emerge a consensus despite all the differences that the world leaders have had in the, uh, in the recent past so that uh, the overall progress, overall development of the world does not become hostage of one crisis happening in one part of the world.